Letters to My Ex Favorite City is a series of reflective poetic letters that I wrote to my favorite places in Paris and to the reason why I'm deciding to leave Paris after almost three years. So I moved to Paris with an idea to build a tech startup to build solutions for the global mental health crisis. And as I was building a platform to help other people heal, I began going down my own healing journey. And as someone who struggles with addiction, Paris became an overstimulating energy that robbed me of my focus. And so I'm leaving and moving to a new place and this new city embodies peace for me. It's still overseas, but it's a place where I'm going to commit to my healing journey and also intentionally learn how to be alone and commit to becoming a better version of myself. So I believe that when we become aware that we're doing things that no longer serve us or are healthy for us, we have a responsibility to change because changing is a part of growing. And I believe that we all have a purpose to grow. And so these letters are a way for me to say merci beaucoup to Peli. And also as proof of the growth. So I hope you enjoy. Peace and love. Love letters to my ex favorite city. Dear Sand River, your vibes are unmatched. You store hundreds of years of creative energy inside of you. The legends have written of your impact. You capture the sun like a golden spider web. You've seen and heard it all. There's probably nothing you haven't seen. I love the way you gather people. Me and you, we have that in common. I'll miss smoking joints with you. You always made space for me. You never judged me, you just welcomed me with gratitude. Stay in flow until we meet again. Your grace is like a river. Letters to my ex favorite city. Dear We Work Paris, we did everything but have sleepovers. We went so crazy when I first got to Paris that you had to set a curfew for me. I've learned that anything is possible because of you. You allowed me to gather people on multiple occasions. You've been a huge part of my business growth. Who would have thought I'd have the budget to spend 10,000 euros on one night with you? It still blows my mind. If Mr. One Connection Away was a superhero, you would be my secret layer. Thank you for being a sacred place for me to dream, visualize, and execute. I made lifelong friends because of you. Even though I'm leaving, I know you will welcome me back with open arms whenever I'm in town. See you soon. Love letters to my ex favorite city. Dear Cleperly, Genia, I remember when it first clicked, when you knew what I wanted without me saying a word. You have no idea what that did for my confidence. I walked up to you with pride. You even put me on with other women. <laughs> you did it with a smile. You made me feel valued and I always returned the favor. I probably saw you at least a hundred times in the last three years. And each time was better than the last. Thank you for your kindness, for being sweet at every hour. I hope you don't forget me. I'll be back and I want the same thing. Dear Sex Energy, you turned me into an addict. Maybe you just exposed what was already there. I turned blind when you looked at me. I closed my eyes 
but you didn't care. You hurt me in more ways than one, but I love you for it. I'm better now. You taught me how to fight, how to say no, how to let go. You taught me that a French kiss is free, but I am worth way more. I'm still healing from your encounter, but the process has started. So thank you. Love letters to my ex favorite city. Dear Paris, I was only 20 when we met. You were my first taste of international travel. You took my ambition and you magnified it. You saw my passion and you put a visual to it. You expanded my curiosity. I didn't know how big the dream until I met you. Eight years later, we've grown closer than ever. They say you never know true love until it's gone. I hope you love me back one day.